I feel like I just, I ruined myself over COVID. I'm just, uh, I'm just starting this video. I don't care how fat and ugly I look because this is how I look. I've, um, I've been meaning to start this channel. I've been meaning to make a video for two, three, four, five years. And while I've been waiting for the video, I've just gotten worse and worse and fatter and fatter and more unhealthy. And now I'm really worried that I'm going to just die. And <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. I, I feel like I just, I ruined myself over COVID. Like I thought I was in a really good position through lockdown and I, I ruined myself, I ruined my body, I ruined my health. And I feel like, you know, I'm nearly, I'm gonna be 60 in a couple of years. And I feel like this is my last chance to sort of like reset my life and get it back on track. And, and in the time that I've been thinking about making this video, I've actually put on another 20 kilos and my muscles have gotten weaker and it's time. So I'm old and I'm, I'm sick and I've got a shit ton of stuff wrong with me. So I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know, but the, I feel like the only way I can do this is to make myself accountable. And I'm super embarrassed because I'm gonna be putting my fat photos on the internet. And by the way, if you don't like the word fat, probably not the channel for you, <laughs> because that's what I am, I'm fat. I also have chronic illness and a couple other sort of um, comorbidities. <laughs> um, just about diabetic if I'm not already. 140 pounds over my healthy weight. Um, that's 70 kilos. I've got to lose half my body weight, basically. And I just don't know what I'm going to do. I've got a house that's that I love that was going to be my dream. My life just hasn't turned out the way I wanted it to. <laughs> I, I really thought um, a couple of years ago, sort of it was halfway through 2020, and I knew I was going to get a house. Actually, it was before COVID even became a thing. I thought I had my late fifties and my six, um, sixties planned and retirement. And I wanted to make this channel because people were saying to me, people were saying to me that was inspiring them to do stuff because I was, you know, in my mid fifties and I was, I've got an interest outside of, you know, um, the normal thing, um, to do with music. And I've been going on, I was just hopping on planes, you know. I had, I had a bit of money. The kids were both working. I wasn't rich. I just, you know, the kids were splitting the rent with me, so I was in a good position. And, you know, I had friends at work going, younger than me even, saying, wow, you're inspiring me to, you know, get up and do stuff. I was going to concerts on my own. I've had people go to concerts now on their own and, you know, saying if it wasn't for you, I never would have done it. And now I just can't, I can't do anything. I'm... Since COVID, like the last time I got on a plane, I went to a concert. I mean, I mean, I've been overweight probably for 10 years. I haven't always been overweight. And um, I'm just so big now, I couldn't imagine even fitting in a plane seat. Sometimes I can't fit in regular seats when, when I go out and I'm getting off track. But, you know, I went from enjoying this life where it was full and doing stuff. And then I, I, I got my own house. And that, you know, that on, I got a mortgage <laughs> and I thought, this is it. This is gonna, this is the, the life I've been dreaming of. And it just sort of went down the tubes. <laughs> and um, it wasn't just COVID, I had um, some, you know, a couple of health diagnoses and um, <sighs> it's a long story. I'll tell you about that some other videos. But anyway, this might, <laughs> this will be my first video and I really wanted it to be a positive video because I, I, you know, I've always been one who laughs in the face of adversity and I've always, I'm not, you know, I really don't want to be the fat, funny person. I just want to be me. And I just want to, I just don't want people to feel sorry for me now. But so, you know, this crying, I'm a crier, all right? I'm warning you now, I'm a crier. So you may get some of this, but I just want to be as real as possible and just let you know how I'm feeling. So, but um, this is my first video and I got to get my life together because, um, I just, I don't know, I just wake up every day in so much pain and, you know, this, I'm on my own. I've been on my own for 20 years, been a single mum for 20 years until I kicked the kids out two years ago. And, you know, like today I need a plumber. I haven't got any money for a plumber. <laughs> I don't know what to do. So, 
this is my first video <laughs> and it's um it's a miserable video but honestly i want to do this because i know there's other people out there who are just as fucked as me <laughs> and we got we got to you know I'm, i refuse to fade back in, into the background i refuse to just sit on the sidelines like i'm quoting all this like shit now but that's what it's like i, I i've been sitting in my a, a fucking recliner for nearly three years and I barely leave the house. This is the situation I'm in. I went from flying overseas to sitting in my room in a recliner all day, like all day. So that's what my life's become. <laughs> that's what my life's become. And I know I'm not the only one. So making myself accountable to the interwebs, I think is maybe the last chance I have of actually doing something. And I'm, I'm really afraid, I'm not joking when I say I'm afraid I might just die one day. And it's because, oh, you know, I'm double my body weight and I have a heart condition and I have um, a few other things uh, wrong with me, chronic illness. So, um, but I was doing, I did everything, you know, the chronic illness I've had for years and I still had kids. I still got married. I got, <laughs> I got divorced, you know, went to uni, did all kinds of stuff, worked full time. And I just feel like I can still do that. You know, well, no, I don't want to work full time, but I, I've always done everything everyone else has done, except maybe not physical things, right? But I refuse to lie down and just fade away into the ether. Like, I'm not going to roll over. <laughs> I'm going to try and put up another video this week so you can see my weight and what I actually look like. Um, that's another thing. Nobody knows what I really look like except a few people at work because I won't leave the house. Yeah, I'm too embarrassed. I'm too embarrassed to see people I know. Look, I could go on. We'll talk about we'll talk about embarrassing things that happened to me since I'm this fat. In maybe in the next maybe in the next video. <laughs> okay, bye.